Guess what? It's dead stream time. This is Alan Paul. We're going to be doing a speed run yet again of the Omega Expedition. Now, got to start out by saying some things here. First of all, Delta, fantastic job. 52 minutes. I don't think any of us are ever going to beat that. Um, unbelievable. Um, I've been struggling to get under an hour, to be honest with you. However, big news, if I can bring it in here, 59 minutes. I'm down to 59. So I did it, but had to do a few things in order to try to uh, adapt, if you will, in order to make this work. So it's been working pretty well. Now, then I watched a little thing from Zane's world. I watched Zane do a speed run. He did his first speed run as a right off the fly. I mean, he, he's gone through and he's made all the adjustments. He's written down everything he needs to all the items he needs, etc., etc., etc. Unbelievable. He had everything spot on. First time he ran it, he ran from his main save and he got an hour in one minute. The second time he did it from a, just a free save, like we're going to do, an hour and three minutes. Do I think he can beat 52 minutes? Absolutely. He has a, a certain way of doing it that's different from the rest of us. That's very interesting, but I know he can learn some things from all of us that we do that is a little bit quicker but the things that he does is so much faster it's incredible <clears throat> and i picked up a couple tips so we're going to try some stuff out i don't expect my first run through to be quick i expect it to be over an hour but we'll see what happens so i'm going to do some things that i do i'm going to state again from the get-go and hopefully some of you are watching the beginning of this and you're listening to what i'm saying to you every single person that plays it the speed run they always scan the six plants right away, load up the scanner, and try to get the upgrade for a fauna. That's fantastic. And then they can scan the animals, they get eight or nine or ten or whatever, and they get all kinds of bonuses and get a half a million in units. And they talk about if you get enough units from the animals, you need at least half a million. You, they're giving you, okay, if you find three buried items, they give you 16 buried tech. If you pick up the two or three that are at the site, you get one or two extra. And you just need to keep one that you'll spend. Just one. So you can sell 17 to 18 of these things and walk away with nearly a million units at the space station. A lot of guys will also start harvesting ferrite and then using their refiner to change it into pure ferrite and magnetize. Yes, you have to do that at the beginning. You need 50 pure ferrite, and you're not going to get it any other way. But if you go to the space station earlier, before you make your home base, you can buy all that and still have money left over. So I don't understand why they're doing that. So I'm going to throw that out there to all you guys who are doing the speed runs. You all can probably get under 50 minutes if you would just don't worry about the plants. You can scan them as you go. You're going to scan five plants on the five planets anyway. One one plant per, per planet for the optional milestone. So you have to scan the plants anyway. You only need one other plant and you're done. So scan a few plants by all means. While you're running around, scan a plant, scan, scan a plant here, scan a plant there. Great. You don't need all six. Go for the buried tech. Get to your ship. Get some carbon, dihydrogen, a little bit of sodium. You're going to get more sodium later. They're going to give you everything you need. But I found that you also don't need as much ferrite. According to Zane, you don't need as much ferrite as you think, but you're going to gather a whole bunch more. And when you set up your base, you can delete certain portions of it and get that ferrite and pure ferrite back to build the other things. Absolutely fantastic. Very efficient means of, of achieving the milestones. Absolutely astounding. So let's get started. Um... And a certain process of hitting Banda, uh, Band app, which is the pirate system, very good idea. Uh, I found that it helps me out too. But I saw Zane go for uh, cactus and fungal mold on the two planets in the Rendezvous 1 system. Um, it takes him about 30 to 40 seconds to get to the one planet and then a little over a minute to get to the other planet. And then you have to land, you have to find it, you have to harvest it, you got to get back in your ship and leave. And then you can go and do this, and then you go and do that. That's great. If you can get to a trading post, you can purchase a lot of those things, and you don't have to gather them. Fungal mold, 
if you go to the right black hole system, is on a planet just beyond the black hole. That's literally about 400,000 units away, so it's really close. You can land there, get there in about 20 seconds, find your fungal mold there, pick it up, go back to the black hole and go through. And as far as the cactus is concerned, it will. if you talk to the atlas a little later, it will drop you on a planet that's right there with cactus. You can get it all while you're there. So I might go back to doing that rather than getting it from a trading post because the actual act of purchasing the five navigation data, scanning the planet, finding the trading post, flying to the trading post landing, a little bit of a tough time, a little bit rough. Um, but I can spend the time while I wait for the base computer to pop up by doing other things like going to the traders. So I find that if I can just land on a planet and get the computer base to pop up immediately, that I might be able to save myself a lot more time. I could probably knock about five minutes off my time by doing it the other way. So I'm going to go back to harvesting these things and putting the hazmat gaunts on my person. So let's see what we can do. It's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. I'm going to try to get off the first planet by about the six minute mark. If I can get off the planet before eight, I'm happy, but six would be fabulous. So let's get started. I think enough yapping here. Uh, we're at the six minute mark. Let me just tab over real fast and get my timer showing. There we go. And the timer's on the screen now. All right, so this shouldn't take long to pop in. I've already had the game open for a little bit. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so we're about six and a half minutes. That was a lot of yapping at the beginning of the video. I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to explain some things because I'm really concerned, and I hope that Delta or, or or even Zane, if you guys have a chance to watch this, you get an idea. Even Jason. Jason can shave some time off of his clock as well. Again, this is a dead stream, so no comments. <laughs> you leave a comment after I've already posted it. Okay, timer going. Here we go. Hopefully we can get about three runs in. We'll see what happens. Uh, two runs. Two runs in. <clears throat> All right. So we're starting next to some plants. That I don't think I remember being here. I see a little dihydrogen. Got one of the little gaseous plants there. We can pull some oxygen out of. We do need a good amount of oxygen. I got to remember to gather some up this time. Oh, condensed carbon right down there over on the right. Excellent. I know these mountains, I think. I think we've got some buried stuff here. Uh, minerals, if I'm not mistaken. Possibly buried cash. We need three of those. Again, I'm not going to scan anything right now. I'm not worried about it. We're interested. We're going to use the scanner. And we're going to look through it to see if we can find anything. Okay. And what do we got? I need heptaloid wheat too. Excellent. And that's pretty much in the direction that my ship is. That's fantastic. Uh, do we have any over here? Nope. Impulse beans. Buried tech is way out of the way that way. Okay. So we're not going to worry so much about that. Um, I'm going to head over here and get this. Get out of the way. I'm going to get this because I need condensed carbon. Wow, good amount of it here. That's excellent. How much did we end up with? A hundred. Oh, that's awesome. All right, I'm happy about that. We don't have any of the... Um, Buried tech here. Buried crystals, pardon me. So I may have to go elsewhere for that. Now, there may be some dead spots as I'm doing this. I may not be. I may be getting kind of quiet while I'm focusing. Okay, we got enough. Uh, not much, but we'll see. We'll see how much we end up with. Heptaloid wheat at 100. Ooh, more dihydrogen. We need that. And I got a sodium field over there. All right, this is good. I needed a lot of dihydrogen. I needed about 150 or so, give or take. This is going to give me quite a bit more, I think, which should be excellent for the rest of the run. Okay, let me just take a look. Oh, my God, and I got a storm crystal out of it, too. Oxygen, let's grab that. I'll come back for the heptaloid wheat in a moment. We're going to grab that sodium patch I see over there. If sodium is a necessary item, we kind of need that. Oh, and a little more dense carbon. 
We do need regular carbon, so we do need to get some of that. I need about 200 for the planet that we're on. Having 300 would be great. Okay, we're at 200. 79. I'm going to get one more plant. There, over 300. Excellent. This is fantastic. Don't need all of it. Getting 300 of it would be absolutely awesome. Alright, that should be enough. Let's get our heptaloid wheat and get back to our ship. I need oxygen, so we'll go ahead and grab that. What's our timer at? It's about four minutes. Come on. All right, that should be good. All right, what are we at? 75 oxygen. We'll get another almost 100 at the actual site, so... Get up this. Oh, that was good. That was good. Jump up there. Where's my ship at? There. It's down there. Oh, how nice. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Good, good, good. This is really good. Oh, buried? We need buried stuff. We've got a buried cache at 277. I'd like something a little bit closer. 276. We probably ran right past it. Uh, let's see. Unknown building. Okay. There's nothing on the way specifically, so let's head back over this way. Okay. 95 more. Good, good, good. Okay, let's drop down the uh, refiner. We do have to make some stuff. We're going to go into this for just a moment. And take whatever's there. It's probably nanites. Grab whatever's in there. Looks like nothing. And you, we grab the metal. And go back in here. We're going to drop the metal in. And we're going to get some carbon. Let's get ourselves 150 ferrite. All right. And we need to take a look for things now. So it looks like we have some buried stuff there. Buried cache at 301. Looks like we got a subterranean structure right 120, right over here. Let's head for it. Yeah, I'm familiar with this particular site now. One down. Should be something this way, I thought. Buried cache at 311. Maybe not. What's that? Land. Star. Star. Or star bramble. Okay, anything over that way, though. Okay. Yeah, we're having a little trouble here finding anything. And this is what happened last time. So let's head over to the buried. That was over here. It's far away, but we'll do it anyway. I do want to scan for animals. Because we need at least eight or ten of them. And while we're at it, we will... Scan at least one plant. Okay. Oh, look at that. Let's grab that. Sweet root. Didn't need it, but we'll grab it. Ooh, that okay. guy. There's a pl little animal there. Animal there. Ship. I know there's been birds flying around, but I don't see them now. Okay. Alright, good deal. If you just stand over it... There we go. And let's head this way, and because our ship is over there. Buried cache, 132. Not far away at all. Let's grab some animals on the way. Plant life, that'll be fine. Another animal. Animal. Count is at five. Six. We need eight. We need eight animals, and we should be able to get the rest of the animals at the next planet. There we go, right here. Got it. That should do it. And I know where we are now. 
all this condensed carbon is going to help us greatly later on. What's our time? Eight minutes already. Isn't that terrible? That's okay. It's worth it to get all this condensed carbon, I'll tell you. All right, let's head back. There we go. Strange, all the animals suddenly vanished. Isn't that amazing? Every single animal on the plateau. <laughs> and I know there's some flying ones around. I know I saw them, but it is what it is. How about you? Have we already scanned you? No, we haven't. You're number seven. One more will do it. Birds? Anything? That was the one problem with this particular location, as the animals would not spawn properly over here. Alright, let's go ahead and put the 50 in. 74 is fine. Okay, let's talk to our unit over here. That's yeah, going to do that again, huh? Alright. So again, this is not going to be our fastest run. And we do have a buried technology right here. We're just going to grab that. Okay, we're done. Let's get moving. So, we need a metal plate, and we need the dihydrogen, and we got everything else we need. So, 10 minutes, terrible start, but that's okay. It's more of a training run, anyway. Didn't we just repair everything? Yeah, we did. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go up. So we didn't get all the animals, but that's okay. We're gonna get more later. Let's see where our planets are. I think they're on the other side from here. Yep, they're over that way. No, I didn't say to go to the settlement. I just said to go. All right. Okay, scroll down. So first planet I'm going to head to is our frozen planet. It's one of the closest ones. One of the closest ones. It's not the closest one. We do have enough to go ahead and do some repairs. Let's go ahead and repair some things as we go. We do need some more oxygen later, but we don't have enough to repair everything. So we'll just move some stuff over and we're gonna move you down. That'll work, actually. There, okay, over to the exosuit. Let's get everybody organized. And the multi-tool, we should do a repair on it. We can repair one or two things on here. Yep, the dihydrogen. There we go. And it looks like we have a supercharged slot, so that's nice. I didn't know that. First for me, what we're going to do is we're going to pull you out, put the bolt caster in, because it's going to be very handy in a little bit. There we go. I think I'll do that. That'll work. Okay. Let's get the one expedition reward, which is on phase three. That gives us our salvage data. Uh, so we're going to go like this. Put that in our ship. Let's open that up. That up. That up. We got, we got Mordite. That's really cool. And we got some Emerald. Even better. All right. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. A little better than I thought we would be. Okay, we're not going to spend any time here. A lot of guys make their bases here. I'm not going to. Wait till they get the alert at the top. Immediately go in here. Now, the picture, for some reason, takes a little bit. So if I take the picture and then let release, we should be good to go. And I'm out of here. Let's just go this way. 
get away from the planet just a little bit further and come back. We want to go to... Oh, okay, we didn't quite make it. Okay, let's go over this way. We want the low atmosphere planet over there. And we're going to take one picture of it. A lot of guys hit them in a different order. I like to hit them in this order. This is just the way I like to do it. So we're going to get a picture of a low atmosphere planet. And then we're going to head over to the space station. You notice I don't have any pulse lines. I can see the asteroids better. I get rid of that for the purposes of the video. A lot of folks will ask me about that. There we go. And there's not much more for me to do in here. I know pretty much what I'm going to do. I've only got one milestone and we're 13 minutes in. Don't worry about it. We'll be all right. We're going to scan a couple more plants at this planet. The not this one, but at the next one that we go to. Okay. We're going to switch this over to more power to our engines so that we can get things quicker. Okay, there we go. Back up. And we're going to head to that planet. Now, I don't see the space station yet. None of us do. So what I do is I head towards where it says first, and that's fine. I'll head in that general direction. I don't know what I'm aiming at right now. Now, what I may do, we do have to get the, um, where is it? Move this stuff in. We don't really need that, but I'll hang on to it for now. We do need to get some stuff. Can't believe we got the Mordite. That is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know what else to say about that. So we do need to get to the asteroids. Let's look for the space station. There it is. Let's head towards it, because we are going to be hitting it next, but I would like to hit the asteroids first. And the asteroids should be just shy of the space station. So where's our entrance? Our entrance is over here. And the asteroids should be just to one side. So we just want to face the space station. Whoa, okay, did a little spin there. And it should be down here. I'm certain... There they are. Right there. It thinks I'm landing. I'm not. I'm taking a page out of Zane's book. I'm literally just aiming at the asteroids, shooting. As soon as it blows up, I let go. I like this idea. It uses less power. And keeps it from overheating, which takes longer. I'm getting some big ones, I know. We should really be getting the small ones, but it is what it is. go ah, I'm already overheating I wasn't even trying all right got some little guys whoop ah right there good should be getting pretty close here soon There we go. And we got a ship in front of us. That was good timing. Where is our space station at? Because it will not show. So we have to we have to vet, manually look for it. There we go. Our entrance is over here. Not there. We'll be facing the planet over on this side. There we go. So while we're entering, we're going to go in here. We're going to grab that. And trade rocket, we're going to move over. We don't need that either. We're going to need those later. We've got plenty of gold now. How are we doing on silver? 73. We need some more silver. Not a lot, but we do need some more. So we're going to make sure we get that. Sorry about the hair. Hair is a mess today. Deal with it. Okay. We need to gather up as many words as we can. So let's talk to some people. 
We need nine. And two. And three. Okay, four. No, they're all just grouping together on me, huh? Already visited him. Let's get the Gek. This should be five. Okay. Six. Okay. You, seven. Okay. Uh, oh, we haven't visited you yet. You're eight. Okay. And this one? Nine. Excellent. Okay. We're done. Remember that money we were talking about? We got 13,000, right? 17? Gone. Another 200,000. Guess how much money we have. Yep, you're reading it. I already got a microprocessor in my inventory so I can get some more. But here's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to get all the ferrite dust, all the pure ferrite, all the chromatic metal, and all the magnetized ferrite. I could break it down and say I didn't need as much, and that's fine. But you don't need to go crazy with it. Just buy it. It's really not that expensive to buy some of this stuff. Okay, come on, stop talking. Uh, he has dihydrogen jelly. We don't really need any. Yeah, let's hold off on that. We've got plenty of dihydrogen for once. It's the first time I can say that we have plenty of dihydrogen. If we can get to this guy before he leaves. Excellent. Let's see what he's got. Uh, tritium magnetized. Oh, he has hermetic seals. Let's get two of those. Okay, solar mirror would be nice. Silver would be better. I get some silver. And one of these guys would be really, really good. Copper and ionized. So, cobalt. Ionized is the other thing we need. We need at least 99 of it. So, get that much. I'm not going to be exact. I could use extra copper. I'm going to grab some. Okay. We do need silver. We don't have any. We're going to get pugnium here in a little bit. So, we'll need some more silver at some point. Um... I think that's it. We have one more ship coming in. I've decided I'm going to wait the extra couple seconds. Again, this is a test run. We're going to see how well we do. Because I still want to get to the trading post. I should have jumped up there and grabbed the cartographer real quick. And what do you got for me? Salt. Not that I need any. Alright, we do need silver, but we're not getting what we need here. I'm going to grab this anyway, because I'd like to do this. There we go. Let's go. And we'll hit these guys real fast. There's two of them that landed. I'll check to see if anyone has any silver. I really could use some. I can get some rocks. But I'd really rather not. Okay. There's one more over here. And he's gone, so I think he's about ready to take off. Okay, yep, nope, no silver. Alright, so we're going to have to skip the silver. We'll get silver later. Off we go. Two more, two more minutes wasted. Okay, so we got two pictures. Remember we said that? I'm going to head straight for this planet. And as we enter the atmosphere, come in. There we go. Go in our inventory real quick and I'll move some stuff over. Uh, where'd it go? That's the one. Whoop, hello. Okay, what did we find? Minor settlement, we don't need that. There we go. We should get a... There it is, trading post right there. Did we literally land right near the one I wanted? 
I think this is the one I wanted. Uh, I didn't want to land there. Now, let's take a picture while we're here. Okay. We don't want to land on the actual plat- Well, you know what? Let's stay on the platform. For now. I just realized, I think I could build everything up here if I wanted to. Let me just see what these guys have real quick, because, again, cactus flesh is what I'm looking for. And fungal mold. And if we can get it right away, that's less time spent doing the other things. Let's just see what they got. Cactus flesh. Okay, we got 200. Now I just need fungal mold. It's one planet I don't have to go to. Fecium. See, he had Fecium, and that would have been great if I didn't get any Mordite from that one find. Okay, good deal. All right, so we've hit all these guys up. Let me see something real quick. I don't know if we can do this, but I'm going to try it. I need to go to the phase one. And before, well, yeah, let's go ahead in here and just grab it. We need the new nutrient processor. All right, base computer, down. All right, anything we need to do while we're here. I would like to put this in my ship because I need it. We can now correct that issue. We'll put that down there. All right. Now, we're not getting the base computer mission yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to select something else. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to scan a plant. Oh, animals. Let's go ahead and grab them too. Plant life. Okay. And while we're waiting, let's jump back out. And we're going to go back to the expedition and we're going to choose establish a base. And see if it pops up for our mission. Oh, we got some guys here. Should have checked them before I had a chance. Or they ran away. Bungle Mold, 172. Fabulous. Thank you so much, sir. I needed the other guy because he probably had the rest. Ooh, this is the guy I'm looking for. I have to get done with him waving first. Nope, he doesn't have it. Oh, he had silver. He had silver. Grab the silver. He still has to talk. I've already gone over that conversation with him. I'm going to grab about 100 just to play it safe. That's good. Base computer do it yet? No, it didn't. So that's my problem with the base computers here. He doesn't have it. So it does, it's going to be one of those guys. If we can find another one of those, he should have our fungal mold that we're looking for. We will check everybody because uh, it can be randomized. It's an RNG type situation. One of those freighters is landing, haulers is landing right now. Let's see what we got. Nope. Doesn't have what we need. Okay, hey, sir, what do you got for me? He does not have... He has cactus flesh again, but not what I'm looking for. Anybody landing over here? No? Okay. Okay. Bungal mold. Guess what we just got? We don't have to go to two planets. Now, we still don't have our base computer going online for some reason. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... And I can't seem to get anything to work otherwise. I'm going to go ahead and delete it and replace it, and I'm going to reload. And we've got everything we need. We've got the ionized cobalt, we've got condensed carbon, we've got tons of stuff. We're actually in pretty good shape. If we can get our base computer to work, we'll be in better shape. So I'm going to put my base computer here. Now you're probably thinking about the ancient relics too. Well, there's ancient relics on this planet, did you know that? 
So we're going to scan for one real quick before we leave. Now, this is not the base I thought it was. This is a different trading post. That's okay. There's 692, 857, 791. Wow. 383, 373. I think we'll take that one. Did it tell me anything yet? No. Okay, let me try something. No. Log. Let's get Rebel Star to pop up. Hold on. Wait for that to disappear, and then we're going to do it one more time. This is the Zane's World method. Okay. Hmm. Not even showing this time. Wow. Okay, let's see what happens here. Now that we have that there. No, nope, still not showing. Okay, we got a lot of inorganic plants, uh, plant, uh, things here, so we'll have to get plants at the other thing. All right, so it looks like what we're going to have to do here, I'm going to pull my ship off of there because I want it next to me. Oh, then it just popped. Okay, let's go into it real quick. Black base parts. Okay, here we go. And we're going to do this pretty quick. I think I only needed two. That's okay. Door. Access ramp. We want to do... Health station. Hazard protection. We want to do... Let's go ahead and put the landing pad in someplace. There we go. That's fine. There we go. We're deleting some as we go. Yes, you noticed that. Batteries. One, two. One, two. And we want the cargo containers. One. And two. In and out of the base computer. And you don't have to rename it. Just exit back out. And you're done. What's next? We got 30 minutes. I want to be out of here in five more. Okay. Now, I don't want these guys to keep popping up over here. I'm going to have them pop up over here. Where I can literally see them all and I can, you know, really work with them. One, two, so that's three, four, five, six, whoop, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, halfway there, just about, thirteen, wow, having that supercharged slot really makes a difference, fourteen, somebody just hit me with a bomb, <clears throat> where is he, fifteen, Oh, wait a second. There seems to be somebody else around. <clears throat> 17. We should get an alert anyway when we're done. 18. <clears throat> oh, there he is. 19. 20. 21. 
No, that's it. 22. 23. Let's make sure, because if we have more... 22. Okay, so we're up to 22. We have three more to go. Twenty-three. Okay, what is he doing? Twenty-four. Twenty-five. I think that's it, right? Yes, we got twenty-five. Alright, we're all done. <clears throat> okay, let's go for a run. Because we gotta go for that stuff. Up there on the hill. <clears throat> Oh, he's all the way up there, isn't he? What if we can get there? Yeah, we should be able to do it. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, what is going on here? Why am I in first person view? How are we doing on silicate powder? I think we're doing pretty good. Looks like a really good one right there. Okay. And we get our fragment. All right, let's drop down the hole and not kill myself. <laughs> we have 35 minutes. Well, we're actually doing pretty good. <laughs> All right. So we can see if we can get our wonder projector put down. Okay. There we go. Uh, we don't really need that. Okay. Where's my ship? It is that way. Okay. Excellent. Excellent job. All right. So do we have our wonder projector? I don't know if we do or not. I think we need something for that. So do we have any animals around we can scan? Somebody up there, but he's flying, and I think it's beyond where I can see. I'm going to gather these up, because I do need them. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. All right, so who do we got? No animals. Up there, there's one that was very, very far away, and I can't see them anymore. So we'll have to save the animals for another time. We'll get that one. Okay. That's fine. So let's see. Wonder projector. Oh, we have to repair our systems real quick. And we're going to do some other stuff on the way. That gave us the wonder projector. Excellent. We need to get our achievement real quick. This is homecoming. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we need to build in our starship our hyperdrive. There we go. And it's going to ask us to do these anyway, so let's make them. One, two, and I always make a third one. One, two, one, two. Put that in there. Uh, let's go ahead and repair that. Uh, let's go to our multi-tool, because I need every slot available in there. And we're going to do this one. We do need more silver, so we're going to hold off on that. Uh, we need sodium nitrate to get this to go. That's okay. 
And let's come over here real quick. I need to build that. Let's put our miner down. I do need to make some stuff real quick. Uh, sodium, sodium, sodium. Where are you? There you are. Okay. We'll get more carbon once we've scanned all the animals. That's going to be a tough thing to do here at this time. But we'll scan the rest of them later on and we'll get a lot more sodium. It's a good thing we found that sodium patch. So that's a good thing. Um, we're going to get a backpack refiner here in just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to open that up. And is there anything we can move over? Let's move the silver over. Let's move all these things over. We're going to keep that here. I don't even need that anymore. Ugnium, chromatic metal, those things. Okay, and you. Okay, good. Got everything we need. All right. And you're done. Okay. Good deal. Let's get out of here, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. There. Not bad. A lot quicker than I've made it out of here in the past, so we'll see what happens. Alright, we could have built other base stuff if we wanted to. But we are literally done with this system at this point. We can build the base stuff next. I agree with going to Bandab. I think going to Bandab is a smart idea. So I'm going to go ahead and go there. And see what there is to see. Little thing, if you do a... On the solar ship, if you do a triple tap as a roll, you can roll in hyperspace. You can also do it in black hole warps as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to pause here. Zane hits the Atlas here. He does the communication. He doesn't get the benefit from it until he talks to Nada later, which he pulls in a little bit later. I found that don't bother talking to the Atlas here. Pulling the Atlas in later is much easier and much better. And it gets you to the planet you need to go to, which is in a system that's already dissonant. So we can kill a bunch of birds with one stone by doing it that way. I was going to go to the Atlas this time. I've decided against it. Ignore the message from Nada. Head to the space station. There we go. And we can actually... That's not what I was trying to do. See, I've just screwed it all up. I'm going to let it pull in, but we're not going there. Uh, let me go past. Good. So we're going to pull in the anomaly in a little bit, and we'll talk to Nada later. I didn't think that... I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll find out. But that's a mess up. I was trying to charge things. When I go in here, it should have been charging, and it wouldn't let me do it. So, Okay, we're now charged. And out we go. So, you remember that stuff we picked up? The ancient uh, bones? So even if you don't have enough cash, like I have 487, if I go in here and sell the ancient bones, I'm getting 700,000 from it. And if you stay in here when you buy, so go ahead and get your most expensive item. Just get all five of them. You don't need more than that. You can also pick up other things here. Like they got Pugnium if you needed it, uh, other suspicious stuff. And dihydrogen if you need some. I'm going to grab it anyway, because I never know, right? And it doesn't cost much, so just go ahead and do it. So where are we going from here? We have another space station to hit. We're going to go to Ebalan, or whatever the name of that thing is. We'll go down there right now. We're going to hit the system first. You notice I haven't upgraded my hyperdrive yet. I want to make sure I hit the system first. This system has something very interesting that I can use. And that is a hyper, an S-Class hyperdrive upgrade. And that's what I really want. It also gives me an opportunity to get a few more words if I decide to, which I'm not going to. And to pick up ionized cobalt from the back trade station if you wanted to, which I've already got, so we should be good there. So we're good on all fronts. So hit the space station before you go anywhere else. 
and you got to sell the stuff anyway. We are going to hit the little trade terminal in the back anyway because we want to sell the stuff off. But if we're fortunate, a pilot will land, and we can sell it to him real quick before we jump on our own ship. Save a little, little bit of time. Cut some time off of it. Okay. So, let's go over here and get our nanites and then purchase our upgrade. Had the gesture first, of course, right? Okay, so sell the optical drill trade, hazard, and the binding. Uh, do we have anything over there? No, we don't. Buy. We're going to buy a... Hold on a second. Positron and the hyperdrive. Install both. Hyperdrive. Positron. When you put this in, uninstall it for 125 cadmium. You need 100. Done. Anybody landing? There is somebody landing, but they're way out there. We can get to the terminal and back before they even make it to the sp trace. This, uh, what's it called? Space station. Cell. And bromide salt, which you're not getting much for. And we're done. Yep, and he only just landed a couple moments ago. Let's get out of here. Nothing more to do. Pull up your hyperdrive immediately. Go into hyperspace before you even exit the station. Where are we going next? We're going to go to Rendezvous 1. And then we're going to be checking out some things. So when we get to this planet, we're going to scan a few more animals. We're going to scan a few more plants. We're going to see if we can get the, both of those achievements. Um, we're going to probably put the nutrient processor down, and we're going to make our um, hot cake or whatever that is. That we need to make biscuit. That was it. I had to think of it. All right. Okay. So our rendezvous one should be over there, but it's not coming up. Hold on. We've got to select it. So we got to discover three more plants. We don't need that. Um, some more animals, which should be over here. We need three more creatures. Three animals. Okay, three animals, three plants. That's very good. We can't do the liquid explosive yet. And we can do the palate cleanser. Can we pull in? Yes, we can. Good. So, we can pull in the anomaly when we wish. Let's head over to the rendezvous. Now, one of the key things, too, if you were still carrying the pirate stuff, if you didn't call in the anomaly, you'd have the notification that you're being called at the bottom corner, which would prevent you from being scanned by the authorities. Because when they scan, they want to talk to you. They can't talk to you if there's another call waiting. Isn't that interesting? It just makes your, your comms busy so they won't scan. Very interesting thing. So you can keep going to a couple systems, you can do all these other planets, and not have to worry about getting scanned by accident and getting to a, to getting to a fight with Sentinels. Okay, so while we're flying, we're going to switch over to divert power to engines. It looks like we're going to come in a little bit wrong. Let's see if we can get this lined up right. I think I got it lined up right. Okay, no, still a little bit off, so we're probably aiming at a base near there. We can say till we're blue in the face, hey guys, please don't make any bases near the near the uh, you know rendezvous. It just makes things harder for the rest of us. But who cares, right? Coming on it from a different angle, so we can go around the other side of this thing. And I'm gonna try to get to the upper. There we go. They have solar mirrors here. We're also going to be doing the sunken freighter while we're here. Which, Zane was going to a specific coordinate on a planet to do so, and frankly, I think that was kind of silly. Um, it takes you too long to do that. Purchase a component. Get a solar mirror. Anything else we need while we're here? Not really. You can get more dihydrogen jelly if you needed some. And we don't really have anything we need to sell, to be honest. So, I'm going to head back out of here. we got our rendezvous. Let's get some animals. One, two, oh, there's another bird. Three. Excellent. Let's get some plants. One. And we do have to scan a rock, so go ahead and scan one rock. 
There's some blowing plants right there. The hazardous ones. Go ahead and scan them. Two. And I see some plants in the distance right. I think there. Is that it? Yep. Three. So that should give us all of our other achievements. Research project is done. If we check it out, let me show you real quick. So in one, you'll see that we got our exobiology reward. We don't need the upgrades. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that. This is a powerful uh, engine upgrade and movement system upgrades. You need those. Not to mention the launch fuel. So go ahead and grab that. Okay. So back to one. Um, we do need to go to the anomaly yet. We still have a reward for this. We need the sodium. So grab it. Nanites aren't really as necessary at this point. Let's go ahead and upgrade real quick. I'm, I am actually taking time to do this. Get this one. I like to get the extra slots in my suit real quick. I don't really care about anything else, but you do need the pulse engine upgrade, or you could use it, really. I'm going to move this over because we're going to put another one in here at some point, which we'll remove later. There we go. Get rid of your egg. You don't need it, unless you really want to carry it over to another thing. All right. And let's move that over. Next thing's next. Uh, let's go into here. So one is completed. We don't need anything else out of here right now. Two. You do need your... We don't need Memento. Um, we'll take care of the rest of that later. Three. Life in all its forms. You need your hazmat. You don't need your hazmat gauntlet anymore, but you need the carbon. So grab that. You don't really need anything else out of this here. Hot pursuit. You don't really need any of that. Relic Hunter you do need because you need the Nautilin. Which I do use. Which I think having an actual location on the planet you can go to to get the base, get the sunken freighter, I get that. But if I can go to water, I can drop it down. As long as I can get to water nearby, that doesn't have any bases nearby. Drop the Nautilin in there real quick. Add the scanner. Jump into it. Scan and jump out. I think that's quicker than looking for a specific coordinate on the planet and trying to fly there real time. You cannot get there that quick. Unless somebody marked it for you, you literally can't get there as quick. I don't agree with that. Uh, boundary map, scatter blaster, we don't need any of that. What was this other one? Hot pursuit, craftable components? Nope, we don't need any of that. So we do need this, like I said. And we got it now. And there's nothing else to grab. So we're done with this. Let's go ahead and put our nutrient processor down. Now that we have the tools to build it. And what we're going to do is put the heptaloid weed in, and since we have sweet root, we'll use that. There we go. Flower. Uh, where is it? Sweet root right here. It gives us sugar directly. Leave the sugar in here. And grab the... Where'd it go? Flour. Make our dough. And the sweet root one more time. We'll get our floral wafer. Don't worry about picking things up. You're done. You get a scanner out of it if you want it. Go ahead and put it in if you wish. Humboldt Drive, you don't need any of those. If you think you're going to need them later, go ahead and grab them. You're now done with the wheat. You don't need it. Um, same thing with that stuff and this stuff. All right. Get our achievement. There it is. Let's leave here. Let's head to water. Now, you see there's base computers everywhere around here. So once again want to thank all those folks who decided that they just want to have base computers everywhere to annoy the piss out of the rest of us. We thank you. I'm going to head over here to this little island over here. There's no bases anywhere nearby. So I'll land right here. It only takes me a couple seconds. We're going to go ahead and check our thrusters. They're fine. Let's get out. We need to lay down a nautilus chamber. So we just need to get deep enough into the water to put it in. Thank you. Ah. There it goes. And just go in here real quick. You, can, you don't even have to get in the ship yet. Just go ahead and put your stuff in. You need di uh, the sulfide. In case you're having trouble with it, I always pull it up afterwards and I go in one more time. There we go. And you get your crystal sulfides out of it. Now you have an extra. Great for you. Go into your exocraft. As you can see, this is fairly quick. Scan. Done. Get out. You already got a sunken wreckage. And I know where this one is. I don't have the coordinates for it, but I know where it is. And I'll have to land on an island near it. So this way... Actually, this might be a different one. 
23 seconds. There we go. 20 seconds by a regular flight. A little quicker than what Zane had to do. Now, the time, of course, our timer is going right now. You can see it over there on the other side. It's going like crazy, but we've been spending a lot of time in the escape menu doing a lot of explanations as to why I do things a certain way. All right, so this one I'm going to have to land on the island next to it, which somebody just put a base at. Thank you very much for that. Let's get a running start. Jetpack out over the water, hit the water, which gives us a boost of speed. Wait till your jetpack gets fairly full and just jetpack the way, and you'll get there in a, like a in no time. Gonna be kind. All right, just go through the the access logs. This is the only one that you can't really leave. You have to get through all of this and let it go through the whole story. You don't have a choice. When you're in the anomaly. You don't have to let Nada and Polo complete their first two speeches. The second milestone that you have to go back to Nada for, you have to let them complete it out. But it's not as long as all that. Okay, we're going to head back. Now, this takes a little bit longer, unfortunately. Now, you're looking at my health, and you're seeing I'm about halfway right now. It's probably going to come up with an alert saying you're at 50% any time now. Don't worry about that. You'll be fine. He has a Nautilus chamber. I could have pulled my Nautilus in and put fuel in it and went there. Interesting. Alright, and we're back. So even so, we're still doing pretty darn good. Alright, we're out of here. So you're done with Rendezvous 1 and the planet. And it seems like you don't have a lot going on, or you have too much going on right now in this. You're not going to be able to achieve what you wanted to, but don't worry. We've got this. All right, now one of the things is going to give us uh, some warp cells. There they are, so I'm going to add them in right now. Uh, we don't need this. We've already stopped at a pirate station. We do need that, so keep it. We don't need these. Okay. Looks like we're in good shape with everything else. We'll keep everything else on us. Hmm, nice parking space for once. So, again, Nada goes into four different conversations. You can get done with two rather quickly and then leave. So, let me show you. Blah, 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 blah. Hit number one. Blah, 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 blah. Hit one again. You'll notice that you still have three choices, or two choices. Now you get a choice that says leave. He just says one last parting comment. Polo? He'll say one thing to you, and you can just leave. Right now. See? Done, and you're gone. Save some time. Even if you're saving about 15 seconds, it's a significant enough time to do so. Research station. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Get your light. Go over here, and if you need hazmats, you can get them. But what I need is I need the backpack refiner, just in case. You've got plenty of nanites. You're going to have... I have 3,000 on me. I'm fine. Um, advanced mining laser. I did not get that at the archive, so I'm going to get it here. Right there. Okay. And we need our last four items. Over to the right. Acid. Lubricant. Stable gel. Liquid explosive. Moving on. Now, I could create it right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep working here. We'll create it as we're exiting the station. Talk to Helios. Don't talk to him. Just hit number four. Boink. Gone. You just you just have to hit these guys up real quick. That's all you've got to do. If they'd all stop gesturing, it would be a lot easier. Done. Now, you could pass in some milestone data to areas and end up with anywhere between five and 800 extra nanites if you need it. A little tidbit of info there. Hit the Nexus. Exit. Go around it and head over to the quick chamber over here, the quick push up to the, to the top, just land on it. That way your jetpack is already charged up, or you're running, I should say, is already charged up. So this is what I do. I hit the portal, get my achievement, and I go back to Nada. This will complete this milestone, and now we're about to complete a second milestone within a couple moments. There we go. You have to let him go through this entire speech. It's five sentences, and he's done. See? 
Now you can head back to your ship and you're done. There we go. So we're done with the anomaly. And as we exit, go in here. We're going to make stable, acid, and liquid explosive. Done. And there's our manufacturing assembled. Done. And now you're going to go into hyperspace. You know where you're going to go, though. You're going to go over to that atlas over there. Remember the atlas I told you not to go to first? Go to this one. And I'll show you why. It's a dissonant system. So now all those things you gathered up. We're going to put our uh, backpack refiner in, but we've got to make sure that we have everything. We need sodium nitrate, ionized cobalt, which I know we have both of, and condensed carbon, which we also should have enough of right now. And dihydrogen, which we should also have enough of right now. So, we got to make the four memories, and we have to scan. Okay, so let's head towards this atlas, which we appear right here, always in this stupid uh, asteroid field. And as you go in, let's check our inventory. Let's go to our exosuit, and we'll go ahead and fix this real quick. We need the backpack refiner. Let's put it in. We got the oxygen to do it, right? We're down to 52 oxygen. We really need more, okay? But we have condensed carbon, C plus 225. We've got the ionized cobalt. And let me see. Dihydrogen's really good. All right, we're in good shape. We're in really good shape with everything else that we need to do. Starship, do we have enough room? We do. Okay, we don't need this anymore. We don't need the Mordite. Okay, then we can get rid of the other stuff too. So remember those nine words we got? Ten and eleven. We get down here. Don't go to the rest of them on the outside. I haven't found any of them have, have any. So we got eleven words now. We need five more. We don't need those extra warp cores. So don't worry about it. And it's going to go purple on us right here, and it's going to kick us out, which is perfectly fine. Now, if you're short on cactus, you can get it here. This planet it kicks you to is going to be the planet that has cactus on it. Now, normally I would like to, at this time on our purple clock that you see over there, I'd like to be at the dissonant planet getting my ride, but... Remember, I spent a lot more time in the escape menu talking. So, in reality, I think I'm a five minutes earlier right now. We should be able to get the other stuff done in about 30 seconds. Pull in your ship immediately. Okay. Now, somebody built the base here. We want to thank them for being dumb, but whatever. If you need salt, you get it from these curly planets, things right here. Which, we should already have salt, correct? Let me check. We have salt. Excellent. Memory of ocean. So we've got anomaly done right here. We didn't need any of that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even grab that. I needed to go here and do Atlas Rises. There we go. And we can make that right now. Okay. Head out of the atmosphere. Look for the space station. Actually, what you're looking for is that ringed planet, but the space station is in the general direction of it. And you see that little guy right next to it, that base that says Senda? Head, head there. But before you do, put your hyperdrive in. Get rid of that. Okay. And we can use that for now. We'll use it for now. That's all. Make this. Okay. Pulse. Go out. Select it. Now we're going to do all four in a row while we're heading to this planet. Okay. And if you're quick, you can absorb the memory. And as soon as it pops out of here, hit escape. Reality greens. Tab. Make your second one. And when you exit... You can get both of these done at the same time. Jump back in. Two, three, four, five. Any second. There we go. There's your second one. And you do the same thing all over again. Okay. It's in phase three. 
I'm gonna go here. Keep the carrier AI. Let's get the third one. There we go. In. Select. Even if it's not doing anything at the bottom right, it's still counting, don't worry. There you go. Okay, absorb. If I can get my cursor to stay there, that'd be great. And escape. Go to four, select it. Back in. And one more time. Auto charger. Go ahead and put it in. We could use that. And last but not least. In. E. All right, here we go. You see we're getting real close to the planet. So, perfect thing. Very good use, efficiently speaking, of all these things to do. Okay, and you're done. And it'll do that real quick. Jump in and hit your carrier AI real quick. And head for wherever it directs you. Even if it's straight at the eye. All right, did you put your multi-tool thing together? No, do it now. I bounced off the atmosphere again. Okay, and down we go. Switch the engines to full power. We don't have a storm going on, we're fortunate. Now scan around the outside of the ship and look for radiant shards. There's a few right over there on the right. I'm gonna land in between. Because I want the Radiant Shards right away. I need three of them. And it puts my ship in a good position. If you didn't get the re the Hot Planet picture, get it here. One. Two. And there's our third one. Three. And if you scan real quick, look around and see if you can't find... A mirror. There's one right there at 567. Look around real quick and just make sure there's not one closer. Alright, I think we're good. That should be good. Okay. And we are going to be heading over there by ship. Take your ship everywhere you go. Because the storm will hit and knock you down fast. Okay. It's a C-class. No big deal. We're going to put this in our inventory. I'm going to put that in the ship. And that's going to go in my exosuit. And we're not even going to bother having it look for the mirror for us. We know where one is. And we're going to head straight there. Off we go. Launch thrusters at 2%. Make sure you charge them. Because you're going to need it. Okay. Now, some people might use the mining laser to do this. Just use the gun. You get more damage. There we go. Got it. Mirror. Now, whatever direction you head, they're going to pop up right in front of you. So, try to curl around. Yep, see, they detected me anyway. Unreal. Oh, you know what? While we're at it, let's look for some oxygen, shall we? My jetpack is taking forever to charge. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Storm abating. Uh... Those guys are abating, I should say. Do we have any hazardous plants around? We had one right there. Yeah, there's one, too. Good. I want to grab one more real quick. All right, that should be good. Should be more than enough. Okay, got a little extra out of that. Go in here. And do the do that thing there. Should tell you where one is. Oh, it's right there. Got it. Okay. Which hopefully is pretty close. Fifteen seconds. That'll that'll work fine. Still don't have a storm yet, which is really odd. Last time I found one of these ships, it only took me uh, the the ancient site was only five seconds away. Now. Remember those words. We talked about 11 words. We need five more. You're going to get three more right here. Utilize it. Let's 
going to do this baloney because you haven't talked to the Viking yet. Just go through it. Because it takes just as long to go through that as it does to talk to somebody at the station. But the other two go much quicker. There we go. Then we do this. We present the brain and we're done. And we're off to our ship, which should be less than 20 seconds away. There we go. Again, weird. I haven't had a storm yet. I must have been very, very fortunate this time. Ow. There we go. Land. And... Okay, looking good. Drop. Done. Okay. Get up to it and do the same thing that they've done in all the other episodes you've seen of everybody else doing it. Claim. Get the achievement. Get back to your ship. And get out of here. No reason to stay. We're done. Alright, so we're out of here. And... We could hit the Atlas real quick right now if we needed to. So if you want to hit the Atlas, it's over there. You can do that. We're going to see how far away it is. While we're waiting, let's get rid of the mold. We don't need it anymore. That we don't need anymore. Okay, we actually don't need these either. Let's go ahead and clear them out so we can make some room in our inventory. This has Humboldt Drive Pulse Engine we need. Uh, no, we don't. Let's get rid of that one. Put that one in. Okay, we're good. Okay. Re-align yourself with the Atlas. After we hit the Atlas, we're going to go to the Black Hole. Atlas opening is on the far side. There we go, right there. Okay. While you're going in here, go to 5, select Eclipse. And you should show up. Come on. Anytime now. Return to Atlas. There it goes. Okay. So that way you get the achievement here. Now what this does, it just saves you a little bit of time. Does it actually save? I don't know. I keep going back and forth of whether it actually saves me time or not. Just because I'm in the system with it, it took me about a good 30 to 45 seconds to get here. Whereas when I go to the Atlas system next time, even though I pop right in front of it, and you don't get the extra words here. So, that's the thing. You just go back here and you're going to get the same old baloney. It's going to be five lines of information. Six. There we go. And that's done. And you'll notice you're not getting the ending music this time. So just head back. And you're not going to get any words from these guys, so you might as well not even select them. Don't even go near them. Okay, we're out of here. And now we're going to head through a black hole. So you exit faster than you enter. Go into your menu here. Select the black hole galaxy map, and you can do it right while you're still in the entrance. And go to your nearest black hole, which is Hovelpie. Oh, and is written renamed Poland. It's also a dissonant system, but it's not really necessary. The interesting thing about the system, though, is that there is a planet beyond the black hole that has fungal mold on it. So you can go past the black hole, land on the planet, grab your fungal mold, and come back. And you can actually see the black hole from the, pla from the, from the planet. A little bit. If you head towards the space station... You'll see it beyond the space station as you get close. And then you can go around the space station and hit the black hole. So you don't actually lose your black hole, if you will. Okay. Engines at full power. When we go through here, we're going to go to the space station that we end up at on the other side and take the portal back to our base. While we're on our way to the portal, though, the teleporter, I should say, we're going to talk to a couple of people there. Yeah, I just did that, too. Come on, I like doing it once in a while. Don't do it as you're about to exit. It actually delays your exiting the black hole. Gotta keep hydrated. Okay. 
Round the bend on the right and straight on till morning. In we go. And so we're talking about constructing angled windows. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to drop in my silicate. Where is it? I have to find it. There it is. And I'm finding, by the way, you only need eight. So let's get out. It takes 40 seconds to build all, to make all of them. Talk to two of these guys, Specialist Hay. Okay, got one. And we'll talk to the other guy here. Two. Before the achievement pops up, we're going to go through to our base. With the Bunyan Colony. Yay. So here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Hour and 13. Again, we've got to subtract him some time because we've been talking a lot on the escape menus. So, I think we're going to be pretty good. We'll be about an hour, I think, on this run. We're hitting everything just right. So, for the most part, everything's been very fortunate for me here. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, here we go. Angled windows. So, we're going to go straight into this menu here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the angled windows in. What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll be fine. Well, let's let it keep going. Um, we're going to do other things real quick. So while we're here, we're going to do a desk chair. We're going to do this octagonal table, the octa cabinet. We're going to do the wall screens. We need one, two, and three. And what else we need? We need the light, ceiling light. We're going to put over here. All right, and that should be it as far as those decorations are concerned. Now we're going to go into our inventory. I'm going to pull out our glass. And we need to put three on here. Where'd it go? Uh, right there. Angled windows. Okay, so one, two, three. So they're done. We're going to put our biodome up. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove the biodome. So we get our glass back. And then we need to put three glass corridors in. One, two, and three. I think that's it. There we go. That's why you didn't need to correct. get all that glass. Um, you can pull this out of here if you think you'll need it. Alright. Is there anything else we need to do while we're here? So, all of one is done. Two is done except for the rendezvous. Three is done except for the rendezvous. Four is done except for the rendezvous. See how fast that one? Five is almost done. We do have the rendezvous to do, the blue star, which we'll get at rendezvous five, along with this. And we'll get the fallen while we're at four. So we're in good shape. We have nothing else to do now. We can go straight on to rendezvous two. Shall we? into our galaxy map, and we're just going to go now to all these nice rendezvous. There's our first one. And now that we have the hyperspace uh, upgrades in our ship, we go straight to every single rendezvous, which means no space battles. We don't have to worry about flying out to the front ship and trying to hit it and everything. You don't have to worry about that nonsense. So I've saved, some, I've saved myself some time. Because each one of those takes at least 10, 15, sometimes 20 seconds. And if you're going to get into two or three of those, that's wasting a whole nother minute. Okay, the biggest time munch on these is getting to these uh, rendezvous themselves. The second rendezvous is the easiest. It's only five seconds away. Except it's going to take me to somebody's base yet again. But if you stay up high and then come in, if I can get my cursor to, pardon me, my mouse to respond properly. Okay, it is a portal, which is right there. Got plenty of stuff around us. We need to scan one of each of the things. We've got rendezvous two. Let's go ahead and scan this rock. Animal. Tree. 
And done. And we should have... Let me check. Did we really not get that? I don't know what we didn't get. Let me check. It's not telling me. Okay, so we're going to waste some time, unfortunately. This is going to waste us about a minute, unfortunately. There it goes. I'm guessing it didn't get the animal before. Alright, that didn't waste too, too much time. That's okay. I wanted to do it right, though. <laughs> Alright, we're going to rendezvous three. And that is all the way over here. On our way. Now, of course, if we go sub one hour on this run, I'm going to go ahead and call it. And that way I can have the rest of my evening to myself. Wouldn't that be nice? So if we can get sub one hour, I'll be very happy. And then this weekend, we're going to have a speed run live on the air Saturday. About 4.15 or so p.m. on Saturday afternoon. Eastern time, that is. Now, here we go. Rendezvous 3 is where it starts to get annoyingly long, because you have a long way to go to get this rendezvous. So, 45 seconds to get all the way there. So, if you got anything to do, do it. I, we don't need anything out of these... ...out of these here. Just select Rendezvous 3, make sure it's selected. We don't need any of the uh, prizes from the milestones or the rewards. We're done. We don't have to get any of them. All we're doing is now we're just scanning things and, and dropping on planets, and that's about it. So no need to do it. This is the sit back and watch portion of things. And let's see what we end up with. Again, it says an hour and 20 at that clock over there on that side over there. Um, it's not really an hour and 20. We know the game time is going to be less than that. I figure I'm going to finish this, I'm hoping, in 10 minutes. It would be nice. If I can get it done in 10, it would be great. But these long freaking drives, if you will, flights to these planets are ridiculous. This one's currently undergoing a storm, and it looks like I'm not on the rendezvous again. I'm on somebody's save beacon this time. Okay, and I'm too close to use my pulse engine, so this is going to waste my time again because of somebody's safe beacon on the planet. This one is a freighter, so we should get there pretty quick. And this lands before your wings come in, so you can jump out of the ship a lot quicker. Ooh, got a little delay there. That was weird. Oh, okay, I went too far. <laughs> All right, if I can get that off my screen. Got inorganic matter there. We got a plant right here, and animals will pop up on command. And three, got them all. All right, off we go. Oh, I know what happened. The hot storm, so my jetpack was extra powerful. <laughs> All right, so we're going on to four now. Uh, that's over here. And four, we have two things to do. We're going to land there and do, well, we have the, the rendezvous and then the optional, but we also have to find a fallen traveler at this point. Now, Zane seems to find one in the system that he's at at Rendezvous 1 by talking to the traveler in the station. That's a time waster, if you ask me. There's no reason to do any of that. Rendezvous 4 is to our right. I was going to first person so I can line up just right at it. Hopefully I'm getting it right this time. I'm not lined up on somebody's base again. So... I get the Traveler here because I already know where he is, as far as the grave is concerned. So land at four, do the scanning and everything like that, and then jump across the water real quick, you know, 
eight second flight to land and grab your traveler that's there a lot quicker Zane could probably save himself at least two minutes or more just by doing that alone. So I'm going to plug him on my description. I'm going to say, at Zane's World, please watch this. I got some tips that will speed yours up. Some of them aren't going to work for you. Some of them are going to be slower for you than it is for me. Some of the things he does is much quicker because that's his play style and it'd be much, much faster for him to do that. A lot of respect for what he does. His information is fabulous. Check out his channel. Zane with an X. You'll see his name in the description. And I'll have a link to his channel down there, too. Looks like somebody put a base here, too. Okay. The Traveler is right across the water there, straight ahead. So as you get out... Look across. Select it. And then... We need a rock. Which, if I'm looking, it should be the one there. Yep, there they are. One... Animal. And I need a vegetable. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm too far away. There we go. Three. Alright, just get closer to this. There's our rendezvous. Jump back in there. For some reason it gives us the end music. I don't know why. It's a little break in the... I'm trying to get that stuff off my screen. It wasn't working. And here is the Unknown Grave. Again, less than 10 seconds away. Sometimes there's a couple bases here. If you can try to cancel them out, do so. But you can't do so until you get out of your ship. So, may not work out well for you. There's our grave. And just grab that real quick. Okay, get the achievement. It's not popping up. There it is. And in your ship and you're gone. No more. We've got that now. Now, as you're heading up, I don't even bother. I just go into here and get our number five fallen. Go into your ship. You're going to have to make room for it. You don't really have a choice. So I get rid of that and then put in the indium drive. Okay, and you're ready to go. On our way. Wow, this concophony, a concophony of noises. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Here's our blue planet. And... Thank you. All gone. Off we go. We're at 125. So we're going to hit 5. We'll get there and it takes a while to get to this planet too. Because of course it's so far away. To find it, we want to go to 5, choose Rendezvous 5, and that way it'll show up. And get rid of Blue Expanse, because it's blocking your field of vision. Alright, I think we're lined up, maybe? Guess we'll find out. I don't think we are. So, as we hit the Rendezvous 5, we're going to hit that, land, scan, get out of there. It looks like both of these planets are currently going through a storm right now. I don't know. It looks like we're lined up pretty good. This is hard to find in a storm. you got to keep a close eye open. Actually, I think it's lined up perfectly with that base. I think that's where it is. Could be wrong. I can't see a blessed thing. It's white. Can't see anything. He's too high up. It's down here. Literally, I'm going to have to get out of my ship to look for it because I cannot see it. Ah, oh, wait. See that disturbance in the ground right there? That's usually something. There you go. Wow, we got lucky. Doesn't seem like it, I know. It took me a little longer than it should have to get that, but it's okay. 
Good news is we don't have to go to an atlas. All right, we need plants. So there's a rock here. Grab that. Watch out for the sentinels here. And I need a plant. There's a plant on the ground, usually. Plant life. There it is. I'll scan that. Done. In. Okay, so five is complete. Except for exotic creature, as it says. Now, here's what I recommend. Zane goes to a world close by. I do not. Here's the reason why. If you tell it to look for a Atlas station, there's a station over here at Yuzvadbeat, the 12th, near a black hole. Go to Yuzvadbeat. Gets rid of the music again. You're welcome. The reason why is there is an anomalous world here, and it is close to your exit point. Even though you're near an Atlas station, the planet is a lot closer to the one that Zane's going to. Zane goes to one that's like 800 to 1,000 K away. This is only a couple hundred. Just turn around. We're already done with that. Go to this planet right here. And, see, 252,000. Get your engines primed and ready. And look, we're at 129. We are literally much faster than we normally are. I know that we've been hitting it around 127, but with all the menu stuff that we've been doing, or the escape menu and the talking we've been doing, I think we're going to hit this quicker. So let's see what happens. So this is it. Last, last one. Just got to look for an anomalous creature. Gonna pan around. Of course it's on the other side of my ship. And got it. We got in the ship. And there's our save point. And as you can see... Oh, that was weird. It kicked me out of my own menu. That's weird. As you can see... Uh, we go over here. You'll see that all five are complete. All is done. So, let's go ahead and exit. I'm going to stop my clock. It was really below 130. And we're just, we're not going to wait. We're not going to wait. We're just going to go right in here and take a look. See, it even, an hour and four. So we really should go one more run here, and I think I've got time to do it. So let's go ahead and delete this one, and we're going to do it quicker with less talking talky. So I want to get off the main planet quicker, and I want to get off my base quicker at the beginning i can shave five off of it fast let's do it uh, reset my clock and hopefully we'll have enough time to get this done mainly because i have like to pick up my wife from work in about an hour and a half so it might be less than that i might make her walk home don't tell her i said that she doesn't watch the videos anyway. Don't worry about it. All right, here we go. Less talking, more walkie. <laughs> Quicksilver credited 1,200. That was from the last expedition. All right, it looks like... Nope, that's just a plant, I think. I don't think that's a planet over my head. If it was, it'd be fantastic. All right, I see oxygen in front of me. I see sodium in front of me. That's great. I got word there. Heptaloid wheat would be fantastic. See a little dihydrogen, not much. Oh yeah, we're just right near a plant. That's what we're near. <laughs> Water down below. And there's our ship. <laughs> right in front of us. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Okay, so... Interesting. Let's see how we can do. Ready? I'm on a plant. Oh, that's interesting. Let me just check to make sure there's not something here I can pick up. I'd say yes is the answer right here. Come on. Thank you. That's one. Grab the sodium since it's here. Two. Anything else here? I'm going to grab some carbon. I need to scan some animals, but I want to get to my ship quicker. One. Yes, okay, so that's 65. What? 140. 211. 
273. This will give me the rest I need. I'm actually grabbing a little bit of ferrite as I go, because I wanted to try something here. Another 28 ferrite. That's great. Anything else I can pick up? Cargo drop. That doesn't help me at all. Oh, I need to look for heptaloid. Impulse. Pulpy. Uh, that doesn't help me. Star pips. Grab that creature. That's the, uh, what do you call it? Impulse beans. Impulse. Cargo. Cargo. Alright, let's head to the ship. Watch for dihydrogen. We need some. Grab some oxygen. We'll find some more in a little bit. Okay. Drop this down, even though we can't do much with it yet. Let's go into our inventory. I want to see what we got. More ferrite. We've got enough ferrite. We don't need to grab that other stuff. Let's just throw our ferrite dust in here, and we're going to put some carbon in. Get that moving. Okay. Let's talk to you. Get it out of the way real quick here. Looks like I've got some oxygen behind me I missed. Ah, it's doing that again. Okay. We're up to two, that's three. All right. Cut it out. Grab these guys real quick. We're just going to delete you. We don't need to know yet what's in there. Got it. Hmm, got some nice stuff out of that. Okay, and there was a buried tech. Got it. Okay, what else we got here? Cargo. Buried cash, we'll head that way. That looks promising out there, even though it's impulse beans. Sometimes the heptolite weed is right next to it. So let's hit this one. We're at four minutes already, and we need dihydrogen. We need to keep our eyes open for that. Any more oxygen plants nearby? There's dihydrogen here. To be able to can't do this while we scan creatures, wouldn't that be great? Good. Nope. Good. Got it. Who's next? Cargo drop. Sweet root is nice, but we need heptaloid wheat. Impulse beans. Heptaloid wheat right there. Okay, so now we got some. Okay. Is that four or five? We do need a few more of them. How are we doing? Five minutes. I'm going to grab some more of this real quick. And we do need something buried, do we not? Alright, that should be good. I think we got enough of that stuff. Whoa, okay, easy. Ah, condensed carbon is always a pleasant thing to find. We could always use extra. Alright, good. And the heptaloid weed right there in front of me. We do need some more sodium at some point, but we'll be alright. Oh, I got eaten by two guys. We need oxygen. And we need something buried, right? Cargo drop. So we can't find something buried right here on the way. It would be kind of great, wouldn't it? Cargo. Gosh darn it all. That kind of stinks. Nothing even behind me. 
kind of need that. This is a deal breaker if we don't get it. Hate when I get stuck like that too. And you guys. Okay. I'm up to five. Nope, still still waiting, okay. Good, good. Any of these guys? Nope, oh, there's somebody over there. We'll get him, that's gonna be what, six, I think? Six it is. Do we have seven and eight? Seven. I'm gonna scan a couple plants while I'm here. Okay. And we need one more animal, which the big flyers are usually around. I just don't see any. Oi. One of those situations where the guy will not charge up fast enough for me. Okay. Put you over here. Just goes to my inventory. Begin. Why does it say 32? That was weird. Oh, we got 64. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Let's take a look, shall we? What happened? So we only have ferrite and pure ferrite. For some reason, I have screwed that up. I don't know how. We need 50 more ferrite. Isn't that ridiculous? How in the world did that happen? I'm sure you'll look at it and say, oh, I can see what happened. Well, I can't see it from here. There we go, right there. And we still didn't get the other buried piece. Right? Which we need. So, right there. Subterranean, I'll take it. What is our time? We're already at nine minutes again, so we're not getting off the planet. Let's go ahead and stop this. Really need to get off the planet quicker than that. So we're going to try this one more time. And this will be my last attempt. We're going with it no matter what, but I know I can speed this up. I'm going to go back to doing 200 carbon rather than 300. And I'm going to try hitting the rocks on the way. Because if I can get 100 ferrite, then we're in good shape. And then focus then on finding three buried pieces, as well as oxygen, dihydrogen, and the heptaloid wheat. Condensed carbon is a bonus. Okay, I do not see the planets in the sky, so probably on the other side of the planet from us. Coming down. Animals everywhere. There's dihydrogen right there in front of me. Good. Okay. And there's more dihydrogen there. Good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Come on. First things first. Uh, let's see. Three. Star Bramble. Buried cash at 169. Ooh. That's what we want. Okay, let's go. So I know almost what this is. I jumped. We'll 
grab it. I think there was only one there anyway. And the buried cache is right there. What's that? Okay. Is that... Yeah, 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 I know. Thank you. You're on an expedition. Really? Let's get these real quick. 77 carbon so far. We didn't get much ferrite dust out of that, but we've got a geode out of it. 75 carbon. Good. There we go. Got that. Ship is over this way. What do we have on the way? Is there anything we can grab? Got to do this quick. There we go. Got him. Seven. And eight. Got eight creatures. We don't need any more. Let's go. We do need to scan some plants. One. Two. That's good. I need things. Is that what I think it is? It is. It's an oxygen patch. Fabulous. Worth the time. I'm always running short on oxygen, so... Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go. And look ahead. Cargo drop. Wait, oh, I'll just go ahead and grab this stuff real quick because it's always good. There's way too much here to grab. Like that. I didn't mean to grab that. Okay. Let's get out of there. I need ferrite dust, remember? Got a geode out of that other one. Okay. We're at 40. 50. Come on. 72, 80. This should get us over 100. Alright, that should be good. Where's my ship? And did we find anything buried? Or heptaloid weed? Doesn't help us any if we don't have it. Impulse. Okay, let's go to the ship. We're almost at five minutes. That was copper. Gonna grab some. It's all right. A little delay there. I don't know what that was about. Uh, let's see. We got 115 ferrite dust. That's great. We're just going to turn it into pure ferrite. Oh, that's what happened last time. Now I know. Uh, good, good, good. All right. Just making sure. All right, good. Moving on. Grab you. Okay. It's going to do a little fade, and we're going to go over this way. And if I'm not mistaken, there is an impulse bean plant here nearby right near that guy but you see what I'm aiming for right now what's the time 540 doing all right okay should be something here nearby and I know there is buried cache at 220 82 no it's jettison pod is that buried cache 216 I think we'll head that way no, I don't want the silver deposit. Thank you. How much dihydrogen do we have already? Not enough. Come on. Good. Crystals are what we need. Like to get about 100, but we don't need more than about 50, but this is, this is going to work out fine. All right, that's good. 
There should be, like I said, a impulse beam here nearby. Yeah, I remember this one now. Got it. Head down. Grab some extra sodium. Ship is over there. I think it could be over there. Noisy little critters, aren't they? Okay, we're at the seven and a half minute mark. We need to get a move on. We're out of time. Yeah, it's just impulse beans. All right, we'll have to save the haploid weed to another planet. So we're going to be a little bit short. Okay, let's pick this sucker up. Brain fried there for just a second. Come on. And into the ship. Flyboy. Okay. Okay, we need metal plate. Dihydrogen. And we can repair. We are out of here. Come on. Ugh. And I am still not seeing where the planets are. Okay, fortunately it looks like they're right in front of me or in this general direction. Let's go. There we go. Scale down. Let's go to you. And on our way. Let's get our achievement. We'll have to go back to three. Okay, so we got our navigation data. Okay. Plenty of dihydrogen. We're doing good. That in my ship. This stays here, here, and here. You go in the ship. Oxygen goes down below. We got ferrite. I'm just going to stick everything over on the side here. Rearrange stuff up here. Doing okay on that. That's good. Starship. First things first. Let's repair that. We got just enough condensed to do it. We don't have that yet. We can get you repaired. You down here. Put you over here. I'm going to put you down here and you here. Okay. Get to this planet real fast. Take a picture. Okay, and back out. Two, three, four, five. Over this way, I thought. Oh, we went the wrong way. Okay, this way. Two, three, four, five. I think we... Should see it now. There it is. Low atmosphere planet. Here we go. Okay. Back into the inventory. We're going to move you down. This goes in the other inventory. This you guys can stay put. Everything's rearranged here. Multi-tool. I can't fix. We can fix this. We can fix that. Mining beam removing. We're going to put our bolt caster in there. Move you down, move you over here. Yeah, we'll move you over. I'm going to go ahead and charge you back up. All right. We're in good shape? Yes. Okay. Just want to get a better angle on it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, back out. Over to you, Bob. There we go, on our way. Alright, so everything's all set up and ready now. Correct? Okay, we don't have everything repaired. We're going to go for our asteroids next. I think I can already see the space station. Yes, I can. So we can, once we get a little closer... There we go. We're going to aim for it now. Good. And... Oh, wow, okay, there was a rock that went past that made me think it was a space station. Alright, down we go. Okay, where is the opening? Opening's on this side? Where are you? Alright, we're upside down. So, the gig, the... What do you call it? The field is over here. Correct. Oh, there it is. I'm flying right past it. Okay, here we go. Oh, for Pete's sake. Come on, get in there. wish my ship had supercharged slots on it. Well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. Hope I didn't hit the station. Felt like I wasn't moving there for a second. A little bit of damage to the ship doing that. Hope we're going to get more silver this time. There's a ship there. Okay. Get out of this so I can actually see where I'm going. Alright, asteroids are done. Okay. Let's grab that. Alright. What do we get? 91, that's nice. Okay, good, good. Anything else I need out of here? No, we didn't get a lot of gold this time. I kind of would have expected more, but... Alright guys, everybody stay put, I need to talk to you. So, one. Okay, two. Wish they'd all just line up. Three. Stand in line, waiting to talk to me, that kind of thing. Four. I think. Turned off a light. Or five, I don't know anymore. Okay, ooh, missed the geck. I think this is five. Okay. You, already got you. This should be six. Stop waving at me. Seven. Eight. Okay, we'll get the ninth guy in a second since we're here. Let's be efficient. Okay. Let's see, hold on. Okay, that's all we need. That's all we have to sell. So, bye. And we're going to get... 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to get all you guys down. No, oh, there's number nine. What do you know? He just popped up right in front of me. Okay, if we can get out of here in another minute or two, that'll be great. And someone just landed. And he's taking off. Okay. What do we need? Ionize cobalt. Could use some a little more silver, maybe some gold. Ah, oh, look, gold. Okay, let's get about, I don't know, 50 or 100 maybe. That costs us quite a bit. Copper. Yeah, we could use a little bit more. Let's get about 100 of that, just in case. And you have Pugnium. We'll get plenty of that later. I'm not worried about it. We need some more. We need to wait. We will be at a trade platform, but they're not going to have enough for us. Okay. We need ionized cobalt. We could always use some more silver, so we'll keep an eye open for that. And other items. Let's just say put it that way. Uh, let's see. You don't have anything for me. Hmm. Okay. Well, here's what it is. Say lovey. All right. So we're going to have to wait. Uh, we got one more guy coming in. Let me check this one last guy, and then we'll get out of here. 18 minutes. That'll save us already two minutes if we can get out of here right now. I don't see anybody else coming in. They're all talkers these days. And he has gold, too. Let's get the Hermetic Seals while we're here. All right. Nope. We're going to have to give it up. All right. So ionized cobalt at the next station, and we'll have to get that there. Yeah. Uh, too late. I'd, I'd check them out, but no. We're done. We didn't get our trade information. So I'm going to try something here. Just get to the planet. We are lucky that we seem to have some trading posts pretty close by. So I'm going to see if I get lucky. We didn't hit the cartographer this. That son of a biscuit eater. Is that someone's base? That is a base. Okay. Let me just take a look around real quick. There's something there. Not what we're looking for. Oh well. I was hoping beyond hope that it would direct me to a trading platform. Because that is going to ruin this particular run. It's not ruining it completely, but if we land right now and we do what we need to do... I'll just do one more scan. Yep. Okay. Down we go. Let's hope for the best. This looks fine. I'm bummed about that. I should have hit the cartographer and I forgot this time. Unbelievable. Okay. Gotta wait for it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Is there anything else we can do while we're here? I'm actually going to use this. Uh, that, we do need to put the teleport package in. I know a lot of people don't do it. And they use it in their ship. Or they don't use it in their ship. They spend, they sell it. But um, I need it. We're going to take a quick look around. We need animals. We need heptaloid wheat. Natural barrier site's way far away. Uh, huh, interesting plant. Yeah, it's grab it planty. What are you? Fireberry. So this is going to put a crimp in my uh, plants here. Solar vine, which I really don't care about. All right, so that's pretty far away, but we're going to mark it anyway. Let's take the ship there. That's no problem. Okay. I'm going to see if we can get this thing to spark for once.
I got a rock in front of me. And my backpack won't charge fast enough. Or get me over another... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Already scanned him. No. Oh, hey, we got those plants there. Let's scan those. Okay. Should be it. Oh, we only needed five, three more plants. We already scanned you guys. All right. It is not popping for me here. Let's see what happens when we rechoose it. What do we have? 22 minutes? Okay. How much do we got? 151. That should be good. No, huh? Okay, we won't find any more plants here, I don't think. Well, we'll find one. Alright, we're done. And we're not getting it, so... So we think we're going to have to do a reload here. Yep, it's not pulling it, so let's do a reload. This is going to affect a little bit of our run here, but that's that's life. That's the way things go. Anytime now. What can we say? It is what it is, my friends. Okay. Now, usually that'll make it work. So what I'm going to do is go to the log. I'm going to choose Rebel Star. Go back to the log. Choose Homecoming. Go back into here. One more time. Expedition. Yeah, it really is stuck on this update, upgrade here. I can't get it to choose another... There we go. Just got it. Just got it. All right. Takes an extra few seconds that way. All right. So now we're getting somewhere. Let's build. Where's the door? Did I get a door put in already? Son of a gun, I did. So much for rushing this, right? Okay. Go ahead and put these on real quick. One. Two. Battery. One. Two. One. Ah, keep doing that. Two. And it wants me to rebuild those. Okay. Those have to remain, apparently. In. Out. Base is now complete. And we need to build this hyperdrive. 
we need to clear this out. Go ahead and build our antimatter. One, two, three. It won't let me build the third one, probably because I'm low on something, right? 17 condensed carbon, that's okay. Two, I'm going to go ahead and do it. One, two, drop it in. We need condensed carbon, that's okay. Let's go ahead and take down my portable refiner. We need to fuel it, and we need to put in... Where's the carbon? There it is. I'm only going to put in a little bit. I only need a little bit. Uh, let's go to our rewards real quick. Uh, that's not getting us what we need. We get our carbon from the discovery of two more creatures, and we need a photograph. Okay. Get in here. We need... Where's the sodium at? Didn't we get sodium as a prize? Hold on a second. Starship multi-tool. Ah, okay, that's what I forgot. Nope, don't want to use the silver. We need more sodium nitrate. Oh, cut it out. Oi. Where's my sodium? I don't know if we're going to get enough. Just enough. We'll need a lot more sodium. There we go. Let's get that reward. That's up here. Okay. So we're going to need more of that. Let's grab the sodium that we just got. There we go. We're going to divide it in half and make more. Okay. Moving on. Bolt caster. Where are you, my friend? There you are. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, good. Okay, how are we doing? Three more to go. One, two, and three. Got it. So we got them all. 
This guy's going to be a pain in the neck unless I can find a door to go in. Okay, and hopefully he doesn't see me in here. Because those nasty little buggers tend to see me in here. Good. Excellent. So that worked. Hi. Alright, so we're done with that. So I don't think we have enough carbon. We do. I will drop some in. I'll see if I can get one more... Hold on a second. My inventory's full there. Great. Put it over here. Can I make one? Yes. There we go. Done. Okay, that's done. Let's take our ship over to our... Where did we find it? Hold on. There. Got to reselect it again. Oh, I just saw there was a bird. Since we need two more animals. Any more? One more. Excellent. We got it. Got it. Go. Hmm, looks like a pretty decent one, too. Maybe not. Maybe it was a cheap one. Alright, so we're done here. Do we have any heptaloid wheat nearby? I am going to check. We got sweet root, solar vines, solar vine, fireberry, pulpy, fireberry, and we don't have any. Okay. We're done. Let's get out of here. So we'll have to get it at another planet. On our way. So we're going to hit the back room at the space station here. We're going to pick up some ionized cobalt. So that's something that we definitely need. We're going to get the achievements as we're going in. We'll get our hyperspace upgrade and we're going to do it quickly. As quickly as we can. Okay. Real quick here. Come on. And we did not hit Bandab or whatever the name of the system was. We're going to just do something a little different here. We're going to hang on to that piece and we're going to use it, I think, a little bit later. Okay, so, that, that, and that. Okay, then we're going to buy. Hold on. Positron hyperdrive. We will need more later, but it's okay. Get that, and that. Moving on. Back room. Uh, let's see here. Ionized cobalt. Uh, 
I don't think we need that much. I don't think we need 100, but I could get 100 anyway just to play it safe. And while we're here, we'll take a look. Oh, nope, there's nothing else we need. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now, we could go across to the other side and talk to some people, but don't have time. There we go. Now, if you want, we can hit Bandab now. You notice that we came... Look for a circular planet. There's our base. Bandab should be right there. We can head there now. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to hit the Atlas here. Because I am curious as to whether it will work or not. And I may end up having to end early because unfortunately my time is just about out. It would kind of suck, but let's see what this does. So we're going to hit the Atlas now, but we have to select the... Let's see here. Be right here. We can select it. It says the current objective is Awaken the Atlas. So let's just go ahead in here and see if this works. I don't think it's going to kick me out. So we'll see what happens here. Because it says to slow, select the rendezvous one milestone to proceed, select milestones in the exhibition log. So we're going to see what happens here. This may be a waste of our time. So we've learned something is what we will have learned. Whoop. Not sure if that Heard us or not? Two. Okay, got two more words. I'm going to go ahead and grab those anyway. What do you know? It's doing it. I wonder if it's going to kick me out. Interesting. So it did go through everything. Fascinating. So what we can do then is we're going to go to Rendezvous 1 from here. That was pretty cool. Except before we go to Rendezvous 1, we'll hit the pirate station. And we can sell everything. When we go to Rendezvous 1, we can sell everything at the archive. While we're there, we got to look for cactus root and the other stuff. There you are, right up there. Hmm, interesting. Didn't select the station for some reason. How much money we got? 259. We'll have to sell something. Uh, let's see. We got the bromide salt, so that'll be worth a little bit. I'm actually going to install that. Okay, it's not worth much. Okay, let's get out. Out, I said. Oh, geodesite. Okay, that'll be work. Let's... Yep, can't do that yet. 84,000. Uh, where are you? There, geodesite. Nice. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to buying this. Got them all. Let's get the dihydrogen. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. We really don't need anything else, so I'm not worried about it. It's the first time I've actually run out. Alright, sell. The Sentinel Weapon Shards. Gone. We don't really... There's nothing to buy here, so don't bother. Even looking. It's just a waste of time. So now we got enough nanites to keep us going. There we go. And we're going to go to Rendezvous 1 straight. Now, did that save us any time? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Two. 
so we have a lot to do with the archive. Oh, archive one should be right in front of us. There it goes. Okay. I think we're lined up for once. All right. Let's check our inventory over here. We're doing good. It's not charged anymore, but we got two more. Where'd they go? There you are. Let's put them in. All right. We need gold. Good, we got more. All right, copper can go in while I'm thinking of it. Mm -hmm. That can go over there. Magnium. There we go. Okay, and we can pretty much get rid of that, but... What do you got down here? Nothing? Okay, good. All right. What's that give us? Hmm, nice. Okay storm going on right now on planet one. Pretty good time. All right. Stay up high just a little bit longer. And then come in. Oh. There's the old archive. Come on. Thank you. So like I said, we're going to spend a little bit of time here. We could have landed off the archive so we can hit more ships, but I'm not as worried about that. Get this guy to respond. There we go. I don't even know if we have money to buy what we need. Yeah, we don't. Oh, except we have that. <laughs> uh, we don't need any more dihydrogen. Let's get the mirror. And one, two. Okay, good. Let's get this guy first, because he landed already. Okay, what do we got? Nothing. Okay, so we're already getting into a battle with these guys. I don't know what it is about those canisters there that stop you in midair when you're like 10 feet over them. Fungal mold, 186. We can get another 15 fungal mold. We'll save ourselves a ton of time. Just by itself, that would help us greatly. Okay, so three landing platforms. Nobody there to help us. We got fungal mold. We got a little bit of something, something. Okay. While we're waiting, let's do a little something, shall we? Let's do... Let's see, oxygen. We got sodium, sodium nitrate. Great. Carbon. We need more carbon. We need to do that. We don't have any silicate powder. I'm not worried about that. We have to get some of the achievements. I forgot. This doesn't help me. That does... Get that out of my way. Okay, what do we got here? We need to scan things so we get the other reward. That's not going to help us. You will give us carbon. And you won't help us right now. Our pursuit doesn't really give us much. No, it doesn't. You, Relic, You need. we need you. All right. Okay. We need condensed carbon, so let's go ahead and do the carbon now. No, not you. Carbon, there we go. 300. And we'll put a little more in there to get you going. All right, what do we got? Any ships? There is a ship over there. I didn't see him. I think he just landed, too. What do you got? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Well, worth a shot there. Get anybody down there? No? A bit over here. Yes. Where is he? Oh, this side. Ooh. Whoa. I didn't know I could run between those. What do you got? Yeah, it was a waste of time. Okay. Well, 
buoy. I need more fungal mold. That's what I need. I need just 15 more fungal mold. The rest is not a big, big deal. Don't think we need anything else from this guy. So I got ionized cobalt, so there's 100 in there. All right, we just need to scan some stuff now, right? Yep, that's what we need to do. Okay, let me pick that up. While I'm waiting, one, two, and I need a rock, three. Good. That would stink if he just took off right at the last second. Bungle mold, all right. That's fine. We don't really need anything else. If somebody else has cactus, I'll take it. We'll take a moment and look. Hmm, VCM. Uh, grab it. Because we need to make some mordite. Pilots are too small. Can't see them. Bungle mold and feces. Go figure. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So we can't get the cactus here, but we can get that at that planet. So we should be in good shape. Maybe. All right. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to call it here. So I'm going to pause the game by going out to the menu screen. And we're going to pause and we'll come back here hopefully in just a few seconds all right guys bear with me we're going to see if we can pause the clock up there i don't know why it says it's connecting but there we go there we go we pause the timer and we can pick back up where we left off as you can see all right we'll see you all in just a little bit and we're back Okay, so let's see if we can't get this run continuing. Now, of course, the problem with doing this, uh, pausing like this, is unfortunately, we now know where we are. So we're at the 35-minute mark. And it says 49 up there. So we know we're about 15 minutes off. Can we get this done in 25 minutes? 30, probably on our clock. I don't know. We'll see. Because we have to get the cactus. We changed direction on the atlas. So we'll see. I know Rendezvous 1 has the cactus planted there. And we're at Rendezvous 1 now, so let's see what we can do. All right, so we're going to pick up, and I'm going to start the clock as soon as we pop back in here. I'm going to make sure I hit the right button. See how this goes. It should come in pretty quick here. Shouldn't take long. There we go. Okay. All right, so we scanned everything. We picked up everything. We got everything we need, correct? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in just for now so we can help ourselves out. Uh, yeah, why not? And we don't need those. Okay, so we've got a good amount of fungal mold. And we'll worry about this later. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, we normally do the freighter here, so let's get that out of the way. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to try something real quick. I haven't done this before. Go out into space, and we're going to come back in at the planet. I can get myself to stop bobbing. Okay, drop down. And we're going to scan. Oh, where'd the water go? <laughs> All right, we'll go over here. This will be, this will be fine. That might have backfired badly if the water was much further away. There we go. 
We'll hit the island in the center of the lake here. Whoa! <laughs> Except that a said island disappeared. That was weird. Pretty planet, though. Except for the storms, it's a pretty planet. Okay. Nautilon Chamber. We need to go a little further. That'll work. Okay. Exocraft. It really doesn't make a difference where we put it. Uh, there. One more. There. Okay. In the water we go. I don't know what hit me, but okay. Alright, up we go. Might have been a creature in the water itself that actually took a chunk out of me. Alright, there's that storm we were just talking about. Alright, where are you at? Let's see. It says 38 seconds. And that's with our charged... Whoa. Really? That's weird. If you're at 38 seconds, it'll be much further away than we, we just did. Okay. Now, what I'm hoping for is maybe it's sticking out of the water a little bit. We'll rather land on it. There we go. That's good. So much easier to deal with this way. Okay. And wham. Okay, let's get through this. I'm going to try something. So I want to get to the right planet. Okay, we're done. Go back the way we came. Up we go. Ah, I need to stay down lower in the water. There we go. Okay, out of the water. And because it's a superheated storm, our jetpack has a better charge to it. And we're done. Okay, so now we're going to head to a cactus planet, but I have an idea. I'm going to ignore the Atlas, pardon me, the Anomaly one more time, and I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to show us where it is. Nope. Okay. There should be an atlas over here, but we may have to do it the hard way. So let me see what we can do. All right, let's see. So that's not going to work. Okay, let me check the planets out real fast, and I can't see them now because of this. Okay, space station. That's where I wanted to head. I think we're blocked from the rest of the system by this planet. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. You. All right, copper, rusted sodium. What about you? You are the... That's the aggressive sentinel planet. Okay, a little bit further out. Okay. So we got four planets. What about this one? I can get lined up at it. Frost crystals. Sodium. Airless. Well, okay, so we're not finding where he went. All right, we're going to have to call it in. We're wasting too much time. Now, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to kick us off of here. 
So we're still going to have to figure out a way to get some cactus. And since we're not going to the system that had the sentinels, the dissident system, now we got to find one. And it lands as, as far away as possible. Must not have added my backpack adjustment in there. Really having some fun today. We're done. Just can't make it yet. Unfortunately. charges probably gonna run out here in just a moment. Okay. Now every time Zane does this, we get removed from the anomaly. Let's see what happens. Well this ain't good. I understand, I think it kicks you out to Rendezvous 2. Now, in my case, it used to kick me out to the Cactus Planet so I could get Cactus. We'll see. Definitely not the same planet. Cold planet. That doesn't help me at all. Okay, so where are we going? So one is complete. And... Okay. Okay. Since I didn't have time before. Wow, that guy's fast. How in the world did he run so fast? Got some more night. Okay. Let's exit this planet.
Let's see. Where are we? This is not the same. This is the same system we were at. And that's where... Yes, that's what I thought. Okay, so... Let's do this. That's the planet we needed to go to. So we're going to go here. Yeah, we're not going to make it. Definitely not going to make it. Because I got to land on this planet. I got to pick up the cactus. Still make all that stuff. Still get the get the dissident. Fortunately, this planet does have cactus root on it, and the dissonant system is any, somewhere nearby. Let's see what we can do about producing this. Heading there. Ah, there we go. Too much stuff popped up at the same time. So let's see if we can find our cactus here real quick. That's a base. A little closer to the planet. Cactus should be see there's a base, so we're gonna follow the ley line to the south and see if it'll show up. Oh, right there. Son of a gun. Unfortunately, cactus you don't need hazmat gauntlets to pick up. Bungle mold you do, but this you don't. There we go, 217. We're done. We still need... Heptaloid. Which we have never found. There is some over there. How's our ship doing? Ah, glad we checked. Oh, nice. It's up on a cliff. We're good. Let's go. So, back in here, we are going to produce memory of bones, unstable gel, acid, liquid explosive. Okay. Come, we'll turn back around in a second. OK. 
Okay. I think it's out of this side. Let's go over here. is our goal right there so yeah I don't think we saved any time doing it anyway so I think this took longer it was a mistake Some radiant shards right there. I'm gonna land right here while we're doing that. And we never did get the silicate. Okay. Those are all... Lantidium? Are you kidding? Okay, we got three here. Good. Gotta find... Ooh, there's a couple of them right there. Three of them. That one's even closer. Okay, let's head back to the ship. Oh, no, I don't need it. Just have it. We have batteries. Um, where's the ship? Okay. That's really weird. So the ship is gone. Fascinating, isn't it? I know multiplayer is not on. So we'll see what happens when we reload. There it goes. Is the ship there this time? Yes, it is. You better be here when I get back. Okay, that's right. Everything that I scanned and linked is gone. Okay. We're going to have to land again. Which takes forever.
Now, if you got these crawlers floating around, get on top of your ship. They can't run into you. They'll still attack you, but... Come here. Oh, don't get in your ship yet. Just head out into the wild blue yonder. Don't believe it. And done. Now it's over. Where'd my ship go? There it is. Will we make it back before we burn to death? Yep, we got it. And the ancient site is only 10 seconds away. So this looks like it might be longer. But we'll see. And my character ran right off the platform. And we're done. Ships that way. For some reason I could not see it. Well, it keeps telling me where the ship is and then vanishes from my scope. Right? There. There we go. I'm going to skip the atlas this time, because I really don't think it helped us. So what do we need here? We don't need any of these, I don't think. We do need that. There we go. Have a drive. We can get rid of these guys now. Including that. We still have the cactus, and we're going to hang on to it, because we could really use... Okay. The other things we need. We can get rid of the Mordite. Okay. I think we're good. Don't need that. Just to play it safe. Okay. So I think we need to just move on. So the next place we're going to go is we're going to go to... This dissonant system, Hovel Pie. I'm going to hit the black hole and move on. Get back to our base. So there's no way we're going to get this under an hour at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and fish it out for your sake. I figure at least 15 minutes, possibly 20. And just to prove a point, you can do it in, 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 as you pass through a black hole. Good stuff. There we go. I'm going to go right through this thing. 
Don't care. There we go. Is there anything else we need here? Let's see. Not that. We don't need that. And we don't need that or that. That would be nice. Done. Let's get our two more words while we're here. We'll save ourselves a little bit of time. Specialist Hay again. Off we go. So, we could get it done right Saturday night. We'll see what we can do. This will bring us to our base. Spits us out right there. And I'm going to immediately... Good. Gather this stuff up. There we go. Should be enough. I'll put it down because we don't need it anymore, so we're going to leave it here. There it is. Okay, while it's running, let's lay down some furniture. Okay, those are done. We need the light. There it is. Okay. I need to get some of these this glass out of here. We're going to do those three. It was too close to the ship. Go figure. There we go. Done with the base. While we're here, It's achievement. Hello. Okay. There it is. Okay, that should be everything. One is done. Two is got the rendezvous. Three is rendezvous. Four is rendezvous. Five is going to be completed as we go. So, off to rendezvous.
Typically, this takes about 15 minutes from this point. So we're going to have a really late run. So that was a complete mess up from beginning to end. Trying new things. No. I need to learn how to trim time for my own run on how I do it. And I know that some of the aspects of my run will work great for others to add to their own. My main goal is to get under an hour in a live stream. Okay, it should be right here. There it is. Okay, make sure it got it, did. Rendezvous three, here we come. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this done and then we'll complete it out. See if we got it this time. I am curious. We got fungal mold on one planet. Hm. Interesting. Looks like we're not lined up with the rendezvous again, but what else is new? Okay, so this is our freighter. We've got our upgrade added to our backpack. Three is done. On to four. On our way. Should be lined up. Not lining up. Not lining up. It's lining up with something else. There we go. 
There's some ships on the way. Whoop. Okay, we passed right through them. Good. Sometimes it brings us out of hyperspace. Uh, pardon me, out of pulse mode. Unfortunately, we don't have any sentinels to fight, so that's good. Hmm, I think we might have gotten lined up just about right this time. Nice. Okay, it should be over here. There it is. It's doing that again. Wow, stopped short that time. That was good. And we'll get into hyperspace or yeah, hyperspace here in just a minute. So we can stop all these songs from fucking over each other. Of course to do that. First, we have to go here. We have to remove probably you. That in. And then. Oh, whoop, nope, not you. You. Do have to hit the anomaly, uh, pardon me, the atlas first to finish this out, and then we can land on the planet and get our anomalous animal. Of course, this is rendezvous five. I think we're lined up. We'll see in a moment. Fortunately, it doesn't look like there's any storms, so we'll see what happens here. I think that's it. It's in between, usually. There it is. Flying too fast, apparently. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong today.
station this way. There it is. There are certain time periods that can't be altered, and this is one of them. It will always take this amount of time to do these last several missions, no matter what we do. So I told you at the 120 mark that it would take about 15 minutes or so. We got all our words. If I'm not mistaken, yes. This, we're returning to the Atlas and the one exotic animal. So. And then we're done. So we'll have about 106 on the clock. We're definitely not going to break 105. We're definitely not going to break an hour, but it is what it is. Okay, very short conversation. Two, three, and we're done. And we're going to go with that music again, even though we're not done yet. Last one. Should be done in two minutes. Straight at the planet. Is that a cave? Good. Didn't put me in the cave. Animal found. Let's gonna do the music over again. And we're done. And to get rid of the music for us, just so you know that the expedition is complete, all five are complete. So there we go. And there we go. And what's our time? 107. Told you I wouldn't break it. So there we go. We'll do this again on Saturday, live, and see how embarrassing we can be then too. So I want to thank you all for watching and uh, enjoy the, all the mistakes that were made. We know we tested a bunch of stuff out, so we know that, that uh, certain things are just not going to work in order to make a speed run out of this. So appreciate you watching, and we'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.